I always find it really uh, rewarding to come here on a Sunday morning. It's always, it doesn't matter what the service is about. It always leaves me feeling good and at peace. It gives me time to reflect on things. And specifically, I like to come here because it doesn't really... I don't feel under any pressure to have to believe what the service is telling me. I never criticised if I don't agree with something. And I find that really, really comforting. I felt for a very long time that it would be lovely to be a member of a church and not to just do my spiritual life solo. But I needed to find one where there wasn't a dotted line that I couldn't sign on. I woke up one morning and thought, check out the Unitarians and went online and it's been absolutely great. Um, and it came as a bit of a shock to me because I was raised with Unitarianism and walked away from it. <laughs> Four or five years ago, a dear friend of mine died, Self went to his funeral, which turned out to be a very high Church of England. And we were surprised and a little bit upset that his family hadn't honoured his spirituality. Having talked about that, Esme realised that she had actually got married in a Unitarian church and her boys had the naming ceremonies in the Unitarian church. She then looked online and found York. We both came here for a service and it felt like coming home because it was so open, so friendly, such variety and we realised straight away that there was a lovely community here and the sense that from week to week we would not quite know what would be coming from the pulpit or from the congregation which fascinated us and we've been coming regularly ever since. I come here because I enjoy coming here. It's a lovely um, community of, of people, um, very open. I like the fact that the Unitarian Chapel is um, they're open to teachings other than Christianity. Al although um, we do, you know, draw on Christian teachings as well. And I, I became aware that I. I, I um, been craving things that were, were, were transitory and fleeting and I, I came to a, a realisation of, of, of eternity basically or, or things that are more lasting anyway and, and, and that's why, why I started to come to this, this chapel. I haven't been coming here very long, I find it really peaceful. It's just nice to connect with something more than like internet or television or like even friends, like it's always good to see friends but it's nice to have like introspective time and like almost like meditation. And I think doing it as part of a community or doing it with other people and also it's nice to discuss it afterwards and it's nice to, to share, it's a shared experience kind of thing so it has like an effect on the rest of my day as well so I'll go home now and it's, everything's kind of peaceful and you can deal with whatever comes your way and stuff like that so it's, it's probably quite selfish reasons. <laughs> I was on my way through one Saturday and I had Heritage Weekend. I came in and what they were doing then was a series of lectures about Darwin. So I came to a lecture and then I came to the service. I'm still pinching myself. I joined, I've been a member about four years now. I wish I'd done it earlier. And uh, So I'm, I'm coming to church in inverted commas every Sunday, which I swore I'd never do. Got a shelf full of poetry, which I swore I'd never have. And uh, yeah, so it's a sort of, and a very nice group of friends. You can follow the things that are important to you within your spirituality. You're not condemned for anything. You don't have to follow any particular creed. So you don't have to follow things that you may or may not quite believe in. It's all open for discussion. People listen, you discuss and um, you're learning all the time from each other. It's really important. Uh, I'm an agnostic and it's... it's I, I think I like to review my life a little bit and, and, and uh, think, I've been so lucky. You know, I'd like to thank somebody, but who to thank, right? Yeah, so, so that's why I come, yeah, mainly. I used to sit at home thinking I was an oddball and didn't quite know what I was doing, but I knew I wanted to be on a spiritual path. And when I was invited to come here by the previous minister, Margaret Kirk, to come and talk about Tibet and the Tibetan people and the plight of them in a service, which I willingly did, I sat at the back 
and loved hearing all of the different readings and everything that was going on and that they'd geared it around Buddhism and talked about the Buddhist scriptures. And I sat at the back feeling very much at home as if I'd always been here. Now I know all these people and all the people that were Unitarians were the people that I used to look up to and read about and think they were fantastic. Now I know they're Unitarians, I think, bring it on.